Is it really all men that are dangerous to all women? Yes and yes. Well, from the beginning, no, it's not all men. But then again, I am a man. I can say that comfortably because I am a man. I know what I will and will not do. However, it doesn't stop other men, does it? I'm sat thinking some sorts, and what I'm thinking about is this term that's thrown around the internet with gay abandon by radical feminists. Not all men, but all men. And the rationale behind this slogan is that some men here and some men will commit sexual offences against women. Now, those women aren't naive enough to believe it's the entire population of men. Thank you, that's good. Because regardless of what women think, all men hear it, regardless of what they have or have not done. I'm, I'm a simple man. Or even the majority of the population of men. But women can't tell when they first meet a male who is going to be here and who is not. Understood. So despite the percentage of this within the male population being low, everybody's tarred with the same brush because how can a woman tell? Okay, very good point. Before she continues, to add my piece to it as a man and a content creator that makes content mostly for men, certain things I say, certain hills I will die on. Those hills include one of my first videos, she's not yours, it's just your turn. Outstanding. That sentence should be used for so many interactions with women. Men should understand if a woman doesn't want you, she doesn't want you. Bruh. That may hurt, no matter how much it may hurt, you let her go. Yeah. Trying to hold on to a woman that doesn't want you, ah, that's weak. To this day! The ultimate power you can ever have over a woman is her willingness to do for you. That's sexy, yeah. She's not yours, it's just your turn, goes into rejection as well. If a woman rejects you, which a lot of men should learn to take. Well, when if you lose a few? As a man, you should be rejected by some women in your life. If you haven't been, then I don't even know. <laughs> But if you're a man that has or you have been shooting your shot, of course you're going to get rejected. It's part of dating as a man. It's natural. You should expect it. Let them go. I'll let you go. It was just a turn. You had your turn. Now it's some other dude's turn. Let him have his turn. Disgusting. The worst thing you could do in this world as a man is give women the power to fuck up your life because you couldn't control yourself. <laughs> That's a you issue, that's a skills issue, that's a you problem, bro. You got soft hands, boy. This is another reason why as a content creator, I make sure I separate myself from other content creators who talk a lot of crap. There's no possible way I can agree that a woman having advantage taken of her is her fault. Nope. Yes, women do certain things that would make certain men do stupid things, but if a man loses control and takes advantage of a woman, that's on the man. That's on the man, doesn't matter how she looks, what she's wearing. I don't agree with that nonsense, that's ridiculous. When I talk about younger women, age appropriate younger women i don't even talk about 18 year olds 20 year olds because for me personally even 20 year olds seem a bit young to me i'm a grown ass man it's like yo look she looks good but it's like ah, the maturity level isn't there she's not yours it's just your turn that's about women you're with right now as well if you understand no matter how much you love and care for this woman you're with right now you can understand that but if you also understand that anything could happen she may leave you she may find someone else you may do something stupid if you understand that yo if something happens, I need to let her go. It's not you're fighting for her because she wants you to fight for her. No, she's let you go. You let her go. She belongs to the streets. You should never give a woman that much power over you that you completely disregard any form of logic to do something to her. Let it burn. Look, I'll be the first person to tell you, women can break your heart. Women can rip your heart from your chest. Look at it, throw it in the bin, and then go bang some other guy in your face. Trust me, from a place of experience and understanding, Let it burn. No matter how much hurt you feel, the best you could do is walk away and leave her. Leave her. I have things to do. Some men get offended hard when they get rejected. Part of the game is learning to take the rejection. Absorb it. If you let the rejection be who you are, then you as a man see nothing of yourself. You let that one woman's rejection, even those women's rejection, that group of women's rejection, doesn't matter. If you let that be yourself without ever wanting to improve, I can't help you. There's no help here. It's not all men, but a lot of men out there, just so many fucking dickheads out there, make it difficult for men to say it's not all of us. There are too many other men just making us look bad. And while I can see, if I'm generous, the logic and reasoning behind how we got to that place, <clears throat> how we came up with that term, I also can't help thinking how, how awful that is. That as a man, you have to 
listen to, accept and just deal with that fact. Yeah, interesting. The slogan holds the connotation that every man is capable of the most heinous crimes against women. Exactly. And not all men are. No, all of us aren't. However, no one cares. The men that do, they will continue to do so much damage that, that every time a man says it's not all of us, you will always have women saying, Fucking men! And giving their stories that, yes, potentially, it is all of you. There are dangerous men out there. I enjoy making my content. I love making my videos. However, but I'm not here to support men who think women need to be something for you. Unless you understand what you need to be as a man and who you need to be as a man. It goes both ways. You can't expect everything from women when you don't really want to do much as men or as a man. I don't support that. I don't promote that. I never have. I always promote you have to be as a man. To the point where you don't even need the woman. You don't need me. You hear me? Perfect. You'd be the last man to ever take advantage of her because I, a woman, I don't even need you. Bitch, I'm what a bitch needs. Don't get me wrong. I want you. Attracted. Definitely want you. But would I ever do anything to flipping risk your life or risk my freedom? No, hell no. Nope. Hell no. You wish. You wish I'm not built that way. A lot of men don't understand letting women go is the power. Not holding on to something that doesn't want you. Small percentage of the population are. But if you're a man, you have to be okay with the fact that when I meet you as a female, I'm going to treat you as though you are a potential therapist until you can prove to me otherwise. And that just seems unfair. It is. Because some women are real narcissistic bitches that will do yep. anything in their power to destroy your life. Yeah, the will, of course, the will. That's what I talk about mostly. You can work hard to get the woman you want. There's no guarantee that woman is going to be good for you, though. You can say, no, it's not all men that do a lot of things, but there are a lot of women who use certain tactics and tricks to flip up you as a man. And they will lean on the fact it's all men, even though they know you are not that sort of man. But they know the power of it, don't they? Yeah. That isn't all women, small percentage. But it's some women. Yeah. And some women will have your children contribute to the breakdown of a marriage or relationship and never yep. let a man see his kids again simply because she was pissed off. Exactly. And of course that's not all women, but that's some women. A decent and amount. some women will make false accusations against a man. Exactly. And that isn't all women. It's a lot of them. Women. Some women are violent psychopaths and murderers. Some exactly. Some women commit domestic violence exactly it's not all women it's not all no it's not all however it's easier for a lot of men to say not all women are like psychopaths for instance we can say a lot of them are crazy yeah it's not difficult to come across a woman that's a bit crazy but i think it's easier for a lot of men to say not all women are this we can say all oh, women are women they're capable of doing what you're used to women doing yeah that's that's all women a woman is a woman, is a woman is a woman. She'll do what a woman will do. But it's really that men say all women are just one thing. Money hungry, yeah. Even if you ain't got any money, yeah, money hungry, but you get my point. But it's some women. A lot of them. So going by the logic of the radical feminist and that term, not all men, but all men, should men start using now the term not all women, but all women? Maybe. Because how on earth is a man supposed to know when he meets a female which ones are going to cause him trauma and destroy his life? You don't know. You don't know. It's just a thought I was thinking, but let me know if I've missed something. As a man, not knowing what sort of woman would destroy your life is a large part of my content. Because as men, we know it's not all men. However, as a man, you still have to protect yourself and your life. Have a nice day. things to do.